Hello, and uh, thanks for tuning in. My name is Russell, and today uh, we are going to be trying a hand at another solo game. <clears throat> this one is called uh, The Networks, and it's designed by a guy called Gil Hover, who we actually had on the show, uh, interviewed him a few weeks back. And it's, called, it's published by Formal Ferret Games, which is actually by uh, Gil Hover as well, so he looks after the publishing for that. He, he is Formal Ferret. Um, so it's called The Networks, it is a TV channel scheduling game. Um, <laughs> so ultimately, you run a TV channel. Uh, in this case, my channel is called Moo TV. And I am going to be playing over five seasons um, and trying to sort of get the most viewers possible through scheduling shows, um, attaching stars, so celebrities and actors and stuff, to those shows, as well as attaching adverts to those shows as well. Um, and also sort of getting points through uh, acquiring these things called the networks cards. Um, and ultimately it's a game of like action selection, um, not engine building, but uh, kind of, you know, kind of playing it, playing it right. It's, it's hard to describe exactly what the mechanics of this game uh, are from the top of my head, but ultimately it's a lot of choosing cards, so a bit card drafting, and then you kind of use those cards to try and build a really good uh, TV channel. So. Uh, before I begin, uh, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, Reliero1 who subscribed yesterday um, after my uh, stream was done. I don't know if it was just at the end or or if it happened afterwards, but I just wanted to give you a shout out and thank you so much for that uh, because I did miss you sort of giving you that sort of shout out on the show itself. So this is the networks. Um, very looking, very much looking forward to this because um, it's one of those games that again that just has a solo mode that I had absolutely sort of no idea um, when I sort of bought the game, which is awesome. And I think I purchased this at UK Games Expo the, the year it came out. Um, and I haven't played it enough, to be honest. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to getting back into it. Um, and I also just want to give a quick shout out to basically every publisher and designer that includes a solo mode, because I'm just overwhelmed by um, how many games include it. Uh, in in sort of their games these days, and it's not something that's necessarily why you buy people buy games. Obviously, certain uh, certain uh, groups do. There is a big audience for solo gaming, which is awesome. Um, but I think you know most people would you know presume that board games are you know multiplayer experiences, and they are. But you know it's been so helpful to know that all of these uh, games that I get through have solo modes. It's been really nice. Uh, to to try them out and you know in a situation where it's been months since you know we've been allowed to to play games with other people and you know we have the online stuff as well but uh, solo games are a great experience and I'm really thankful that people are actually uh, still and have been creating it so yeah kudos to those people including Gilhova so this is the solo version of the game we're playing um, we are going to well I am going to explain how to teach the sort of regular version of the game and then I'm going to explain sort of the differences with the solo mode and then we'll get cracking on with the game so this is the networks if you have any questions um, I just realized when I was looking for this um, there's a uh, there's a basically quotes in inside the box which I hadn't noticed before and um, this one says so it's like almost like an easter egg it says do you realize if it weren't for Edison we'd be watching TV by candlelight. Um, that's from Al Bolisca. And then we've got this one from John Lennon. It says, if everyone demanded peace instead of another television set, then there'd be peace. So quite nice little quotes there that I didn't realize. So yeah, this is the networks. Uh, let's get stuck in with uh, the teach then. So we've got the board game mix right here. Uh, it's a little bit of a crowded um, uh, a screen today. So I apologize for that. Uh, but it is what it is, and uh, we're going to try and teach you nonetheless. Anyway, so as you can see here, uh, the board is made up of this scoring track, which is in the middle, these three sort of boards here. Uh, then we've got sort of the draft cards over here, which are the cards we'll be selecting from uh, in the game uh, to try and boost our network and make our network better. And then we've got each player's player board area. Now, this is your player board. It's this kind of board with the three slots um, and then sort of like, going outside of that, either side of that. Uh, so that's kind of the, the, the way that you set up the game. Um, I've set up for a one player game for obvious reasons, but I'm gonna teach you how to play um, the multiplayer game. Okay, so the game is uh, about scheduling uh, TV shows on your channel. Um, you've got three slots 
on your channel, your network, essentially you've got the 8 p.m., the 9 p.m. and the 10 p.m. slot. You're trying to um, create uh, and schedule, develop and schedule TV shows that will get you the most viewers because at the end of five seasons, so five like full rounds, um, the player with the most viewers will win. Um, you will need things like money to be able to develop shows and you'll need sort of like ads and stars to sort of like boost the viewers that those shows get as well as potentially gain you money as well. So um, yeah, how the turn work, how a round works is um, the player uh, who starts, they will basically be able to do one of the following actions. They can do one action per turn. Once they've done the action, then it's the next player's turn and so on. Um, a player will drop out of the round when they do the drop and budget action, which we'll get to. Um, once all players, all other players carry on taking, uh, you know, turns until every single player has uh, done the drop and budget action, and then you do some sort of cleanup, um, and then you begin the next round. And the the game takes place over five rounds or seasons, I should be calling them actually. Um, and then at the end of the fifth season, uh, you'll score. Then you'll do a uh, a final scoring because you do a bonus scoring at the end of the game, and that is basically when you work out who's got the most viewers, <coughs> and that player wins. <coughs> okay, so. What are the actions that you can do on your turn? Well, they're listed helpfully on your player board here, which is very nice to have. Uh, so we have the develop show action, the sign star action, the land add action, the take network card action, the attach star or add action, and the drop and budget action. And these are very much uh, very similar to one another, so I'll go through them. Uh, so first up, we've got the develop show. This is kind of the main action that you'll be taking in your, uh, in your attempt to gain viewers. <clears throat> you have these um, these TV shows, uh, which is the third column down here. Uh, let me take you through one of these uh, cards, just to kind of give you an example of how actually the um, the card kind of what information there is on the card. So the first thing is on the leftmost column there. Um, that's basically where you uh, want to schedule that show. However, when you schedule a show, you can schedule it anywhere. Um, but this is its preferred time slot. The, the little symbol above is the type of show it is, and you will actually get a bonus um, if you schedule um, three and, and then five uh, of the same genres in each uh, in your channel over the course of the game, I believe. So you'll see if I get like three um, of these comedy shows, then I will get a bonus. And if I then get a fifth comedy show on the network, I will also gain another bonus, which I'll get to later on. Uh, the top uh, left there, that's the cost uh, to develop the show. So if I want to to make this show, um, it would cost me one million bucks. So money here is in the form of millions of bucks. So this would in, it, this would basically equal one million. <laughs> so if I wanted to develop this show, um, it cost me one million. Uh, the cost on the right, uh, oh, actually, you know, is that the, that's the, the, the this, wait, hang on a minute, one second, because this has confused me, one sec. Um, the thing on the top right is the thing on the top right is the yes the upkeep cost yes okay so that is correct to develop the show is the leftmost symbol there is a oh yeah there we go so there's a card here with a uh, a development cost but also um, a, a number on the right hand side which this one doesn't have that's the um, upkeep cost so if I want to keep that show on my network it's actually going to cost me that much money each round. Um, if I don't have the money to afford it, then it would get um, sort of archived or re put into rerun, etc. Um, or yeah, get tossed out of my my schedule, basically. Um, so yeah, then the other things that you're looking at is uh, the 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 rightmost column is the number of viewers it will get every season. Now, when you develop a show for the first time, um, you can get a bonus uh, in terms of viewers by scheduling it on the right sort of the right uh, time slot. So if I put this into my 9 p.m. slot, I would actually gain the most uh, viewers for that first season. However, if I don't schedule it in the right slot, I'll get the lower number there. So it's either eight if I schedule it at nine, or five if I schedule it at either of the other two slots. Then you'll mark that um, when you've developed it by putting a cube, and each season, this basically will go down, and so it will, will score different numbers of viewers over time. Some shows actually gain viewers over time, but a lot of them will, will drop down, especially towards the later end, and they tend not to retain uh, viewers for that long. So, um, the, and then the other thing is, 
uh, on the bottom of the card is its requirement. Now, there's there's two different symbols, well, technically three different symbols. We've got this star um, symbol here. We've also got a money symbol, and we've got this sort of like dual symbol here. And some of these uh, symbols will be colored in, some of them will not. So let's talk about this. This colored star symbol represents adverts. Uh, sorry, sorry, stars, because it's a star. And basically, oh, hello, uh, Bladio. Uh, it's a... Uh, from, from Incorrigible Party, right? Um, how are you doing? And um, <clears throat> thanks for tuning in, which is uh, very appropriate for this kind of uh, game because you have about to schedule and telly. So thanks for stopping by. Um, how are you today? Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, so if you wanted to put this show on the air, it actually has a requirement of, of a star. So you need to add a star to this. So we'll get to that later on. Um, if you have a, a, a symbol here in color, by the way, so this is a, a colored in star. This is a colored in dollar symbol. This show requires an advert. Um, I think it's because it's a, like a high budget show, for example. But yeah, that requires an advert to be able to put on that show uh, or attached to that show, otherwise you can't develop it. Um, however, there's this symbol here, which is either or. So you can has, you know, it has a, um, a star or an advert up to you. Now, if the symbol is colored in, it is a requirement. I'm doing well, thanks, how are you? I'm also doing very well. Um, it seems like I'm losing my voice just a little bit. <clears throat> I find myself coughing a lot. I might have to go and get some water in a bit. But yeah, I'm doing quite well. I'm very you know, excited to be playing more games. Um, and uh, yeah, this game I haven't played solo before so this will actually be quite a new experience for me um have you played the game if not um how does it how does it seem like does it seem like a game you'd like to play to like to try um if there's any questions you have about the game like feel free to ask me i'm more than willing to to answer them um but yeah i'm just doing a quick teach now and there is one more symbol by the way on these um cards which is in the bottom left now when a card um is is called archived when it's basically been replaced in its time slot with another show this will become a rerun show and that's basically the number of viewers that you'll gain for putting it into its rerun slot so that's kind of you still score um some uh, viewers from uh, the show in the season if you replace it with another one. So that's how it works, basically. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so we've got this symbol, meaning that if I wanted to schedule this, uh, which show is called Old Folks Complaining, I have to, but I, I don't have to, but I may if I want to add a star or a, um, a, a advert to this show, but I do not have to. But if I wanted to schedule uh, very char charismatic explosions, I must attach an advert to it because it's colored in there. So that's how that works. So those are shows. Uh, the other things that you can do on your turn is to sign a star. Now, when you sign a star, <clears throat> what actually happens is uh, you will... So these are the stars, the sort of middle row here, the, the purple cards. And um, the shows, uh, sorry, these uh, stars will basically have um, a cost to sign them up. So, for example, this one costs three million. Uh, it's the Fierce Drag Queen. Uh, I'm just going to double check that because, again, I don't want to make a mistake here. Uh, yeah, so signing cost is the top left symbol there. And the right cost is the number of, uh, is an upkeep cost as well. So similar to a TV show, if I want to keep a star on the air, um, basically I need to spend one million per season um, to not, in order to keep them. Now, they also have, uh, some of these stars have requirements as well. So the Fierce Drag Queen says, uh, rotate unless the show is real reality and it counts as an ad. So basically, uh, this one will gain, if you attach a star, so basically I'm going to sign a star. If I want this star, I'll pay three million. I will then put that star into my green room, okay? Now this star can be then later uh, attached to a, a show that I've, I'm developing. So that's uh, basically uh, going to give it a boost. So if, if, I, if I was to um, to develop, sorry, to sign this Fierce Drag Queen, and then I can attach him to a show. You'll see these numbers on the right-hand side. They actually boost the, the viewership. So stars can actually help you gain viewers, um, especially if they're matched appropriately. Um, but some of them have an upkeep cost. Some of them require a, a specific kind of show to be attached to. Otherwise, they turn over to their other side, and you can see the, the boost from that um, star is less. So actually, what I really want to do is make sure I'm only assigning stars to shows where they will fit. So this one needs to be attached to a reality show, to a reality show, not a shoe. <laughs> um, this one, for example, has rotate unless this show has ads. So the newest host must be on a show with ads, otherwise it's going to gain you, well, a lot less, you can see, from four and three in the first two seasons to two and one. So yeah, you really want to make sure that you're planning ahead. Some stars, by the way, they don't have requirements. So that will just always boost um, the thing. But as you can see, it's a little bit more expensive. 
So uh, the other start, uh, the other thing you can do on your turn is land and add. And again, when you land and add, you're actually going to put it in your green room to then later attach to a show. So we can go to this one, for example. Uh, the cost at the top left is actually what we call a landing bonus. So when you take this, you will actually gain this money. So that'll give you two money, two million to add to your supply. Um, and then uh, these also have requirements as well. Uh, so this one says rotate unless you have ads left in green room, green room. So basically, this means that as long as I have at least one other ad in the green room and I add this to a show, um, I can put it on this, this side up. However, if I don't, then I put it on the other side up. And that means that it reduces is the sort of benefit of this because as you can see on the top right cost uh, top right of the card you can see a little symbol there of money and that's basically um, the income you'll receive while this is active and by active I mean on a show that's still on the air so this will give you two million income essentially um, and that income can be used to offset some of the upkeep costs of the shows and the stars that you have as well so yeah ads are generally the the best way to sort of increase income in your in your in your channel okay so uh, again those go in the green room now when talking about developing a show by the way uh, so when you develop a TV show you pay the money and then you put it immediately on the air you choose the time slot okay at this point if a show has requirements you will then um, be able to attach um, anything that you can or must at this point so let's say I decided to develop this show uh, I'm gonna put it in my 9 p.m. slot and now at this point I can add a star or um, an advert to this show so I could go okay let's add this star to the show I'll put it there then I'll place it in that slot the next thing you'll do is you'll put a black cube on the top slot where the eye symbol is because that's the viewers that you're gonna gain for it um, and then this card becomes a rerun you turn it over put it in the rerun slot and then basically that's gonna count as uh, some viewers uh, for the end of this round <coughs> so uh, <coughs> I'm so sorry I'm I've got a bit of a cough so I do apologize Okay, so, uh, yeah, basically, uh, then the, uh, yeah, that's basically how you develop a show. All right, so, the next thing to talk about is the uh, attach, sorry, take network card action. So, you'll see there's some network cards here. Because of space limitations, uh, you can't see fully. I might just a little adjust this slightly so you can see it. Uh, you're good, no worries. Thank you for that, by the way. I appreciate it. Um, okay, so, yeah, basically, the network show... Uh, this means, uh, these are cards that basically can either have an instantaneous effect, which is actually indicated by this sort of like uh, exclamation mark symbol. Uh, some cards have a, a one-off bonus indicated by sort of a times one symbol. So you keep those cards and you can use it uh, during the, the game. And once it's used, it's it's gone. Um, some cards have an end of game scoring bonus. So it'll help you score um, points at the end of the game. Uh, indicated by sort of like an end, an arrow pointing to the right. I'll, I'll find one of those when they come up. And some of them have an ongoing bonus effect. Actually, maybe I can find the symbols for you in the um, the book. So you can see, but the network shows have, uh, yes, here we go, or an infinity symbol here, which means um, they're only available in the advanced games. But basically, when you keep these cards, uh, it has a lasting effect, but once in the game, you may discard it um, for, a for a bonus power, uh, but you lose its effect for the rest of the game. So there's four different kinds of bonuses. Uh, so I, instead of choosing, you know, any of those, I can actually take one of these cards. This one basically immediately lets you gain three viewers for free, but it also... Instead, you can choose to spend $10 million from your budget to gain 10 viewers. So that's a good way to gain uh, gain viewers. This one simply gives you $5 million when you take the card. Uh, this one uh, is the same as that one. This is an advertising push. And this last one lets you take two cards from the top of the ad pile. Now, you get to keep one of them for free. The other one, you'll gain the landing bonus. So you discard that second card, but you will still gain the bonus money. So you'll still get money from doing that. Um, so when you take a network card... Um, again, if you use it straight away or you keep it and then use it later on, that's another thing you can do. The fifth action you can do uh, is to attach star or ad. Now, when you develop a TV show, you can use, um, you can attach ads or stars from your green room for free at that time. However, if you decide to land a star uh, or an ad and then later on you decide on your turn you want to add it to a show which has a slot available, um, then you can do that. And that'll basically let you um, pop that card over to the to the show there. 
Uh, the final action that you can do is to drop and budget, and that's what this little kind of track is for. Uh, when you drop and budget, what you're saying is, you're, I'm done with the round, I'm not going to take any more actions, and now you basically move your token to the leftmost column on this space, and that's kind of your leaving bonus. So for the end of the show, you've, you've done your job efficiently, and so you gain money. So the more money you get, uh, the earlier you leave the round, the more money you get. Um, and in multiple player game, um, when you've dropped out, the other players still carry on. But obviously, the earlier you drop out, uh, the more money you get. But also, um, you also get a more. Um, you'll get to take your turn first during the next round if you're the first to drop out. So that kind of dictates turn order as bit as well. <clears throat> okay, so. After everybody's done that, at the end of the series, the season, sorry, uh, this is what happens. First, you'll do income. That's okay. You take your time. Like, there's no there's no uh, <clears throat> requirement to stay the whole time. Um, yes, I'll carry on teaching, though, in the meantime. And if you come back and you have any questions, just let me know. Okay, so basically... Um, the thing at the end of the game, what you'll do is you'll look at your, your season, okay? You will see uh, whether you have any income coming from your adverts. Then you'll see what your um, your expenses are from your, from your upkeep costs. And you'll work out whether you need to gain money or lose money at the end. Sometimes you might find you actually gain or lose nothing because they balance out. But yeah, basically, if you have any money um, to, to spend for this, then you spend it from your supply. At this point, if you do not have enough um, money to uh, to p to pay for everything that you need to for all of your expenses instead of spending any money at all you'll pay for your entire thing in viewers okay so you will lose viewers if you don't have if you've not budgeted correctly and that can cost you in this game uh, the next thing that happens is the score lineup so basically what happens is you'll look at all of your viewers based on your current season and bear in mind these don't always have to be on the same row because of the way that you add shows to different slots and they, they age um, only once at the end of the season so you'll look at where your each of your seasons are you'll add any viewers from the season of that show plus any bonuses from any ads and, and stars and then you'll add up all of that you'll also gain money for um, sorry viewers uh, from your reruns so don't forget to take those into consideration then you'll basically you can use your um, your personal score track here to sort of keep track of that and when you figure it out then you'll add those number of points using this score track here then the next thing you'll do is you'll move each of the cubes down one space um, to say that it's now in the next series and if any is on the bottom they stay on the bottom and they will keep um, they will keep that for the rest of the game but generally it's not good to do that so yeah uh, then the last thing you'll do is you'll set up for next season. You'll basically discard any of these cards and then you'll re reveal the next ones based on this kind of track here. This will tell you how many of each of these um, different types of cards you reveal on the on the, on the the display and then now you're set up for the next season. So that's how it works. Okay, so uh, I spe specified something earlier on about genre bonuses. Uh, if, you if you get three of each... Um, if you get three of a single genre of show during your entire kind of game so far, bear in mind any cards from your reruns will have gone into your archives at the end of the each round as well. I forgot to say that, but yeah, they do count for once and then they're in your archives. But archived and cards that are still active will all count towards your genre bonus. So if you get three of the same genre, you get the choice of either uh, drawing three star... Um, so if you reach three or five like genres that gain five viewers as a bonus then you'll choose one of the following uh draw three stars uh star cards keep one and take uh, sorry just keep one of them in your in your green room you can draw three advert cards uh, keeping one and taking the money from the other two so that's quite nice or if you reached five of the same genres you have a bonus option instead which is to draw three of these network cards and keeping one of them then if you reached five like genres you can exchange money, so any money that you have at this point, you can exchange it for viewers. And it goes from 4 money, 4 million uh, to gain 1 viewer. Sorry, 4 million for 3 viewers. So if I had like 10 million at that point, I can spend 8 million of that to gain 6 viewers. Okay, so that's uh, the bonus of genres. Um, and then there's, by the way, at the end of the game, there's another bonus scoring opportunity, which is basically where you score everything again, um, which is why you still age your shows after each kind of round. Even at the end of the last round, you'll age them and then you'll score again. Okay, uh, so that's the kind of multiplayer game. And as I said, the game ends after five seasons and then you'll see who's got the most points uh, in viewers and then you'll figure out who's won the game. But in the solo game, there's a slight difference and this is how it works. So you still have very much most of the same actions. We've removed some of the cards from the game 
um, as, as per the setup. But in this game, after every turn, so every time I develop a show or land an ad, etc., any time I do one of these actions, I'm going to draw the top card from the network deck. On the bottom of these cards, and I'll use these as, as an example, there are some symbols, and some of the symbols are colored in, and some of them are grayed out. What this means that I have to discard um, a matching... Um, card from the draft here for every symbol that's visible. So for example, if the this one here says advert. So I have to basically discard the leftmost advert card from there and it gets you know, removed from the game. Um, technically not removed from the game, it gets into discard pile, but it's very unlikely we will see the bottom of the discard pile in this game. So you'll see the other symbols here. We've got the TV show, so that'll be one of the TV shows gets removed. Then we've got the star cards, we've got the advert cards, we've got the network card, and then we've got this kind of circular symbol over here as well. Now there's a chance, by the way, that there'll be multiple um, colored in symbols on these cards. So sometimes we will lose multiple cards in a single go at the end of every turn, by the way. Um, but that circle requires to the drop and budget. So in the normal game, obviously other players would take these slots, but in the single player game, this is um, kind of uh, kind of made less enticing to drop and budget or, or kind of enticing you to speed up and drop out earlier on because every time you reveal one of those circle symbols, you'll put one of these cubes on the leftmost empty space. So you can see the more that happens, the less money you'll get for dropping out and budget. But in a single player game, you'll never fill up that last slot. So you're always going to get money for dropping and budgeting, but obviously it's less enticing for, for that to happen. Now there is a penalty, by the way, if I um, there's no cards left of a certain type and the network card says you have to get rid of that card and um, what happened instead is I will instead of getting rid of a card I'll actually put one of these cubes on the turn order track here and this is bad because if I um, keep missing out cards that take too long in my turn for example and the last uh, season it's sorry the last turn order uh, space is filled up I immediately lose the game okay and I don't want that to happen there is no way to remove these unless uh, you you achieve the season 2 and season 4 bonus and I'm going to explain how that works in a second but yeah there's they will only remove one cube from this track so really don't want to put them on here but sometimes it might be unavoidable <clears throat> okay so uh, what happens at the end of the second season I am trying to get uh, 60, sorry, is it the end of the first, no, the second season, I'm trying to gain 65 viewers. If I achieve that, what will happen is I get to remove one of these cubes from the track here. Um, and this is the season tracker. So season one, fine. Season two, I need to basically get uh, the 65 viewers. If I don't, nothing bad happens. Um, it just means I don't get something beneficial for me to happen. So I do want to kind of achieve that. If by the fourth se season, I need to have gotten 100 more viewers than I did by the end of the second season. So whether that's, you know, 60 or 85, um, I add 100 to that amount and I'll, and I'll rep reference that by putting this, this kind of uh, square token 100 more than where I was. And that's my goal then to try and get that by the fourth season. And then if I do, I get another bonus, which is to remove one of these cubes. Otherwise, again, it's nothing. Now, the overall goal of this game, by the way, as a solo game, is to get at least 265 viewers. If I do, I win the game um, as long as I haven't lost the game through, you know, this happening. Um, so that's my goal. I'm trying to get 265 viewers by the end of the game. Uh, okay, so so that's it basically. I think I've explained everything. So as a solo player, my turn, I'm going to do one of these actions. Then at the end of my turn, I'm going to draw a network card and discard cards from the left, by the way. It does say from the left. So if there's any of these cards on the left that I want, I should try and grab them as early as I can. Otherwise, I'll miss out. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's the game. Uh, so yeah, if there's any questions during the game, feel free to ask. Um, but otherwise, that's it. And uh, yeah, hopefully that makes sense to you. Okay, so uh, I'll begin then. So my first turn is I can do any of these actions. So I'm just looking at the top there on the, um, if there's anything that I really want. No, there's adverts. Uh, the, the, the top right ones are pretty good. Um, <clears throat> and I, what I'm looking at now is to try and see the different sort of um, cards here. Now there is a card, uh, two cards here that I've got yellow um, genres. So they're two genres that I could get. And that would be good if I'm trying to get the like genre bonus. So basically, 
looking at these, they're both for different time slots as well. The only problem is this one seems to be pretty good because it has viewers even into the third series, but this one on the right here yeah, just drops off quite early on. So maybe maybe it's worth trying to get those two shows uh, because one of them is in an 8pm slot, one of them is in a 9pm slot. They're fairly cheap to develop, you know, I mean, this is going to be the case anyway because um, starting from the season two, we're going to have some sort of more expensive cards, but these cards are all season one, so they're kind of cheap to develop and they'll not the rewards aren't great either. So I think that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and get um, the, the, the second card here and the fifth card. Um, this one requires an advert, uh, sorry, a star. So is there any stars here that would be good um, to attach to a comedy show? Uh, no, but maybe that one might be good just from the fact that it's going to boost up my viewers quite a lot. Um, you know what, there's no way to gain money other than taking adverts, which is funny. Um, there's no limit to, by the way, how many um, of the adverts and star cards that I can, can hold on to in this game. So that's quite nice to know. Um, so... I want that one. That one, by the way, I can add either or a star and an add to it. So that's quite good. Um, let's have a think. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's that's a pretty good shout. I mean, the other the other ones are really good for the first two seasons. Um, but then I don't, I, you know, maybe I should just kind of focus on just trying to get that like bonus because it does seem quite nice. Um, and you only have so many opportunities to do that. Now, do I want any of these ones on the left? Maybe I could take one that requires me to... Um, to gain this and actually if I took that advert there that would be nice because um, I'll get money and I have ads in my room uh, left so if, as long as that's the first advert I put out I can actually attach that to um, the show which this one and then I'll actually gain a bonus of two million as an income and that will stay on until the show while the show's on air which will be probably around three seasons so yeah I'm gonna take that so that gives me two million two million bucks um, and I don't know if there's an easy way for me to sort of like show these. Uh, but yeah, basically, if you ever need to know how much I've got, just ask. But it's about 7 million at the moment. Uh, so that's my first action. So now I'm going to draw the network card. <clears throat> okay, so this is... Uh, I'm going to explain what this card does, even though it's not going to come up in the game. But this one says, play when developing a show or attaching a star add to use star and add icons, icons interchangeably. So basically, if I was uh, developing the Chainmail Bikini Warrior, I can actually add a add to that show instead of a star because it just allows me to ignore or ex treat the star as if it was an advert and vice versa. So yeah, that one's quite nice. However, it's telling us to remove um, the... Oh, actually, I just realized that one's going to give me 5 million bucks. But anyway, well, 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 it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's part of the game. So basically, that's annoying because it's got two symbols on it and these cards seem to have, oh, that one's got three on it. That's quite mean, actually. So we're gonna get rid of the first TV show, which is an hour of shouting. So that one goes, that one gets removed. And then we're also gonna get rid of this card here, which is the advertising push. But nicely, there is still one of those uh, on the board. So uh, that's gonna be done with that. And I think with these cards, I think we put them at the bottom of the deck. So let me just check that. It says, uh, it says something at the end of the turn. Um, yeah. Uh, it says at some point uh, you will have to burn cards um, and it says this means you'll do this by revealing it, you'll discard cards and discard the network card to the bottom of the network card deck so that's fine. So this one goes back on the bottom interestingly. It says discard, I don't know if you have to put it face up but we'll just assume not for now. Okay brilliant so that's the first turn done. The next thing I'm going to do because I have a feeling that this one could be burned earlier on and I do want to make sure that I get this on the air sooner rather than later so I'm going to develop this show. So it'll cost me two million so it cost me two million because of the development cost there so that's two million I'm spending. Then I'm going to put it on the air uh, so now I'm, I'm taking out what's in my pockets uh, that's going off air, and we're going to put old folks complaining as the next thing. This goes here. I have now a chance to um, attach something to it, which I will. So this one is going to add um, the Blast Radius Pure Sugar Cereal uh, advert to this show. And as you'll see, this one says rotate unless you have ads left in ads left in green room. Well, I do have ads left in green room, so this one gets to use the higher bonus, which is actually lu lucky because if I if I uh, if I had attached it. Uh, if I didn't have ads left in the room, I would have had to put it on and it would have given me nothing. So yeah, this now main, means that I'm going to get 2 million income from this uh, from this show every season. Okay, so that's that turn done. Um, I could have added a star there, but I didn't, so <laughs> that's that. Okay, so now 
Uh, this is a rerun, so it turn over, it adds to my rerun slot, and that's going to score me one viewer at the end of the round. So it's still going to do something for me. Okay, so now at uh, the end of my turn, so I'm going to reveal the next network card. So this one uh, is the flexible schedule. Uh, this is play during show scoring to consider a new show as being in its preferred time slot. Okay, uh, so I guess that's uh, the new show. So a new show has this kind of... Uh, either or scoring whether you place it in the right one so if I hadn't scheduled that in the right slot then I could have used this card um, to kind of count as the higher bonus there but we're not using it for that we're using it for the symbol and this one says I have to drop one of these um, tokens on here so now if I drop out of the game um, I'm going to get eight million instead of nine million so it's losing me a million basically so that goes on the bottom of the deck there and we carry on so next up what am I going to do now it would be nice to have um, a good star that can boost some viewers. I could even potentially attach it to this show here. So this one is a comedy. Is there any of these that I would be good? Um, rotate unless this reality, sh unless this show is reality and it counts as an ad. Um, I don't know what that specifically means, but uh, this one wouldn't be good because I wouldn't have sh ads on the shows. Uh, this one says rotate unless the star is attached in season two or four, but obviously that's not going to happen, so that's no good. So actually the best option for me, if I want to attach to this show, and I do I do have this one as an option as well, um, this is just like a basic card. Um, that's annoying, it's a little bit bent up. But yeah, um, I could do that one, but actually I'd rather just boost my viewers a little bit more because, you know, this is a competitive game. So I think actually the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, land the, or oh, sign up the adorable hipster, which is very clearly like an sort of Zooey Deschanel style character. Uh, so I'm going to sign her up. She costs me five million, which sucks. Uh, yeah, that is that is terrible, but it is, you know, it's worth it because look at all those viewers she's going to gain me. Um, ideally, I would have developed it on this show because that one would make this third season even more lucrative. But you know what? It is what it is. It doesn't matter. So that's what I've done. I've spent my five million to land the Zoe Deschanel and that's the end of my turn. So now we draw the network card and see what we're discarding. So we're going to get rid of a, an advert, uh, sorry, a star. So this star gets discarded. And the second thing is the network card. Oh, I should have taken that. I should have taken that. That's just five million bucks. Oh well, I, I literally didn't see that, um, which is my silly my silly fool uh, thing. Anyway, so that gets discarded, and now that gets discarded as well. Interestingly, do those cards also get discarded? Uh, bear with me a second, I'm just going to clarify the rule. Uh, when you discard cards from the one-player game, I just want to know if those cards um, this are the first to be burned. Uh, you'll discard cards or cover a drop and but So it does say discard. Um, and it doesn't say whether you discard them, but it says later on uh, you discard the um, cards. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to discard them all, um, and then just if it comes to it, yeah, so I'm just going to put them at the bottom there. But maybe I'll put them face up. So there we go, I'll just do that instead. So actually then we know when we just can recycle the card. So hello to anyone who's just tuned in, by the way. This is the Networks, the solo mode. It's great. Uh, okay, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. So yeah, I've got the advertising. Uh, did I get rid of both of those? Yes, I got rid of the star and this now. I have another th option here. Maybe I should take a network card because um, I do want to develop this show, but it's very unlikely that it's going to be two turns before. And the other thing I have to start worrying about now is um, that if there's no cards left to discard from these piles when I reveal them, so let's say I took a star and then the next card says you re remove a star card, um, then I'm playing with fire because if I keep taking turns and it asks me to uh, discard one of these, then I have to end up putting these tokens down and that's good. That's bad because it's going to basically mean the end of the game is closer to being triggered. So yeah, I've got to be really careful now. And maybe taking from different things is actually not a terrible idea. Um, looking at these, maybe I could take another advert um, because then maybe uh, I would then get a chance to... Oh, this one's good. This one basically is the same as the last one. It gives me two million immediately gives me a recurring two million as income um, as long as I have at least one advert left which I do so maybe that's not a bad idea or I could use this one and um, this one lets me take uh, three viewers immediately or spend 10 million to get 10, vi 10 viewers but I don't think that's in my budget yet so actually what I'm thinking of is maybe taking this card which allows me to draw two adverts and choose one to keep um, I get the landing bonus the other one so I get this value from the one that I discard um, so that's pretty good maybe I'll take that one Maybe I will take that one. It is an advert. It could be better than that one. You never know. So let's use this. And I'm going to use it immediately because that's its uh, exclamation symbol there. And I now draw two cards from the deck. 
So one of these I'm going to keep, and the other one I'm going to uh, keep the landing bonus for. So this one says, rotate unless this show is sports, uh, or rot rotate unless show is on preferred time slot. Now, this one... I'm going to add to its preferred time slot, so that seems immediately better for me. Uh, this one, I would get a higher income if I put it on a sports show, um, because thematically it makes sense, you know, I've got sportswear there. Um, so actually, I think I'm going to take this one. I do get to discard this one, but I get the landing bonus, so that's one million. So yeah, this is uh, what I'm going to do. Uh, I think to use that one, I, I, that's part of the turn, so I don't think I have to do anything else to that one, although that is discarded as well. So let's put that on the bottom. And uh, now I get to discard this as well. Actually, you know, I'll just discard there. It's fine. And I get one million for that. And then uh, the next thing I'll do is, yes, I put this, which also gets me two million for its landing bonus as well. So there we go. I'm back up. I'm back in the back in the black, I think. I think that's, that's what you say when you're, when you're in the money. Because um, I think red is the other way around. <laughs> okay, so that one now means I'm hopefully going to attach it to, to, oh, no, it needs to be a star. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anyway. Um, basically, I just realized that that one, you can't add a um, you can't add an advert to it because it requires a star and it doesn't have the option to add an advert to it. But that's fine. I've still got a nice star that I'm gonna, that I add to it. So I can keep that for later. So that's the end of my turn. So I draw another one of these cards. Okay, so this one, we're going to get rid of an advert. So this one gets discarded. Uh, we're going to get rid of a, um, no wait, is that right? Yes, it's a show star advert, then a network card, which we get rid of that one. And then also um, we're going to get rid of another drop and budget space, which is this one here. Now, now I'm at that point where if I reveal the next network card and um, it's it's uh, going to ask me to get rid of a, uh, a, ne a network card, then I actually could lose some of these cubes, which is not good. However, I think I do have to take this turn. I just have to and take the risk. And it's only going to be one anyway, so that's fine. So yeah, I'm going to develop this show. It cost me one million, so it's actually really cheap to develop. One million. So I spend that, and now I'm going to put it on the slot over here. Uh, now this one has a requirement that it requires me to add a star to the show, but it's all right because we already um, took that into account. And we're going to add the adorable hipster, so the wacky TSA agent starring the adorable hipster, which almost you can see that. You could see she, her being on that show. She almost looks like the main character anyway. So we'll put this here, and then this goes on here. We'll take the black cube and we'll put it on the top slot there. Um, this is in its appropriate slot, by the way, so that's good. And then this becomes a rerun, so we'll just pop that there. So, um, that's the end of that turn. Now, we do have to draw one of these. We're praying now that we don't draw um, a card with a pink card symbol on the bottom. So, fingers crossed. Oh, okay, that's fine. It's not too bad. Um, yeah, we did get the one we didn't want. So, we're going to get rid of the Fierce Drag Queen. The Fierce Drag Queen gets discarded. Um, then we have to discard one of these, but there's none available. So, now we drop that. Now, we have to draw another drop in budget space, which means covering up this slot here and then this card is now discarded as well i don't know why i'm discarding the network cards there um and the other cards over there but it doesn't matter too much uh anyway so that's the end of that turn now i have a choice whether i can drop and budget and after that i won't have to draw any more of these cards or i could take something else and maybe like hope for the best the problem is if i take the star card there that'll be another symbol that could end up um making me draw more of these or i could take one of these shows which i don't really want um, uh, to be fair, I could develop this one, the Very Charismatic Explosions. It's not going to help me with the, um, with the kind of genre bonus, but um, because this one and this one um, would be able to be paired together, it would give me an extra income of one and uh, give me an extra 10 uh, viewers, which could be very lucrative. So part of me is thinking maybe, maybe I do this. I'm going to do this, I think. Yes, I'm going to take this. I'm going to develop this show. Uh, again, I could I could lose um, I could lose another uh, symbol here, but, you know, there's a good chance that it might not come up anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to develop very charismatic explosions. It's going to cost me one million. So, I thought it would cost more than that, weirdly, but apparently not. So, there we go. A very charismatic explosion covers up the 10 p.m. slot here. Uh, so, you too can play the recorder is now off the air. Uh, which is a shame because that was my favorite show. That becomes a rerun. Uh, the requirement of this is to have a advert on it. And of course, I'm going to use the Thumb Station video game console advert on there because it's on its preferred time slot. So there we go. This now uh, goes in and adds 2 million to my income. 
Okay, so now I'm going to draw this because I have to, and hopefully no more pink symbol. Okay, we're actually in luck there because we can get rid of an advert, uh, sorry, a star, and we can get rid of an advert, which we do, and there's no more punishment for us there. This goes and discarded, and now we are uh, back to... Uh, our turn again. Now at this point, I am going to drop and budget. So I do this, that say I'm done with the turn, I can't risk losing any more cards. And so as a result, my uh, bonus is uh, six million, six million bucks. So let's take a five and a one. There we go. So that's the end of my turn. So now what happens is we check income and expenses. Now if you look here, I have an income of four million because I add those two uh, plus symbols together, but I have expenses of 2 million. So actually I do gain 2 million bucks, which is great. That's good, I wanna be doing that throughout the game basically. So there we go, now I have a total of 9 million under my um, in my budget, which is great. And now I look at the next thing, which is to score the lineup and rerun. So now I'm gonna look at all of my, my uh, viewers across my shows. Um, and add it to any reruns I've got. So I've got eight here because it's in its preferred time slot, otherwise it would be five. I have another eight here because it's in its preferred time slot, and I have a bonus of four because of the star attached to that. So it's eight, 16, 20, and I add this 10 here because it's in its preferred time slot. So that's a total of 30, and I add my reruns, so it's another three. So I get a total of 33 viewers, and let's double check that again, so it's eight, 16, 20, 30, 33. So wonderful. So I'm gonna take this token and I'm basically gonna put it all the way up here to the 33 space. Wonderful. Next, uh, I'm gonna do the age show. So all of these uh, shows now move on to their second series. Uh, but if I had a show that was on its second series, it would go down to a third, etc. Um, and that's it then. So, the, nope, there's one more thing to do. I set up for the next season. So I'm just going to remind myself of the specific ways you do this because I don't want to make a mistake. But I believe it's just a case of discarding cards. Uh, yeah, so move reruns to archive. So all of these cards now go into here. But the problem is, though, that none of these cards are actually going to help in terms of my genre bonus. So I don't actually have to keep these here, but I will for the sake of it. In future, what I think I'll do is I'll just make sure that I put all of the same genre shows together so you can see it uh, using the symbol in the top left there. Uh, so the next thing I do is discard all unused cards. Yeah, these cards are now going. So Chainmail Bikini Warrior didn't make it on the air. And neither did the advert for bloop blue jeans, which is cute with a little mouse there. Uh, there we go. So discard unused cards. We draw new ones according to this. And I believe we're also going to turn this track over. Uh, determine the new player order. Well, that doesn't matter in this case. Uh, yeah, and you flip the right hand scoring over and move this season track over, which I didn't. Oops. Okay, so yeah, basically this is going to go here. Uh, this now uh, gets flipped over to its other side. Uh, which is this, we put these tokens here. Now there's actually a bonus, uh, a different bonus in this round actually. So when we drop and budget in this round, we can either take the money or we can actually take the viewers. Uh, so I could go oh, 10 million or I can just gain five viewers, which is quite nice. Uh, okay, so let's draw these cards. We need four network cards. So this one is flexible schedule, play doing any show to consider a new show as being in its preferred time slot. Well, we already kind of looked at that one over it anyway. We've got adder acquisition again, which is one we already saw. And um, we also have the big game. So this one says at the end of the game, score two viewers plus one viewer for every million you receive from ads on active shows. So that one's a way of scoring bonus points at the end of the game, which is what that little symbol on the on the top right there means. So that's quite nice. And then finally, we have the split season. Immediately score viewers for one of your shows, then age the show. So that might be nice if there's a show I'm planning on getting rid of, such as this one, because it'll give me 10 viewers, and it basically allows me to then um, replace it. Uh, yeah, so that one could be very nice, but I do have to use that immediately, so whenever I choose that. So the next thing I do now is I've got these season two cards. We're gonna reveal five shows that are on the air. Uh, so you reek, uh, I guess that's, uh, that's a pun, obviously, from the show Eureka. Uh, we've got the Upton Krabby, which is uh, the famous spin-off from Downton Abbey, featuring crabs. Uh, we've got the American Samurai Warrior, <laughs> which is quite funny. Um, the, you see these already cost more to make and give you more viewers as well. We've got the Baccalaureate, which is, um, you know, the bachelor or bachelorette for smart people. And then we've got North Lawn, which is instead of South Park, and that's quite nice. So there's a lot of spoofs and Easter eggs and references in this uh, this game, which is really nice. Uh, we're gonna reveal um, four stars now. So we've got uh, the Celebrity Chef. 
we've got the former comedian gone dramatic. Uh, this one rotates unless the show is sitcom or drama. Um, I think this is a sitcom, so that's good. Uh, maybe we can uh, find... Oh, we've got another sitcom right here, actually. Uh, then we've got the um, always dies and everything. So basically the Sean, um, Sean Bean right there. And that says rotate or not your choice. Weirdly, you can rotate. Oh, I see, because he scores more in the first season, but then um, nothing. But then if you... You, you tick him not, he will score more in the later seasons. And then finally, we've got the dashing lead, um, which looks like a character from um, The Princess Bride. Uh, and that one's five, four, and then three. Then we've got the ad. Sorry, this is taking a long time to do. We've got the conspicuous watches, um, which you rotate unless it's on sports. We've got the sassy salad dressing, which is rotated unless it's on 8 p.m. We've got the Krakatoa instant coffee, which sounds good and maybe even a reference to something that I'm not aware of. Uh, it says rotate unless you have stars left in the green room, which I do. And then finally, we've got the promo. If you liked this, you'll love. And that's basically rotate or pay five million. Oh my gosh. So uh, actually that one's quite nice because it's a three Three million income so as long as you get it paid back twice it might actually be worth paying the five million for that okay so now we begin the next round what do i want i want that north lawn show because it's yellow and it'll help me get the bonus which is great um if i wanted to take that uh basically i would replace it oh and it's in 10 p.m slot as well so that's brilliant and it's worth three in reruns it requires a star so i do need to make sure i have another star here um there was another star there was a thing here yeah rotate unless you have stars left in the green room which i probably will um if there's anything i want over here i should think about it now um this one is also one maybe i should take because that one i can attach to the sitcom so yeah maybe is there anything i want here I don't think so. Oh, actually, yes. What I'm going to do right away is I'm going to take this split season card. This one allows me to score for the very charismatic explosions, and then I can replace it. So it's great. The only thing is annoying that I am going to lose 2 million from it, but I think that's a worthy sacrifice, especially because I'm about to add uh, an advert that is um, going to add 2 million to it anyway. So yes, let's do that. I'm going to take this card, immediately score viewers, so 10 viewers. That's good. Uh, so I'm up to 43 now. And that's good because I actually need to get 65 by the end of this round. So I do that, uh, then age the show. Yes, that's fine. So that gets discarded. Again, putting it on the bottom here for some reason. And then now I've taken my turn. So let's see what the network card says. Okay, so I have to get rid of a, um, I have to get rid of an ad. So I don't have this one. That's fine. Uh, then I have to get rid of a, uh, a, a network card which is fine because I didn't plan on using that one anyway. You know what, I'm just going to put those cards here from now on because it's just easier. And then uh, then I have to drop in budget. So this one goes there. So I'm not going to get 10 million at the end of this round, but it was very unlikely that was going to happen anyway. Okay, so next I'm going to take the star. That is this one. So the former comedian gone dramatic. I'm going to take this star right here. Uh, so it gives me, um, it costs me 3 million to, to land him, to sign him up. Uh, wait, did I, did I, yes, no, I, I, I'm just going to put that there, yeah, sorry, I forgot about that, uh, so yeah, basically, this cost me three million, so let's get rid of that, and it's going to be one million upkeep, so another expense to mine, uh, let me just get rid of those, it's so three million to sign him up, but I will be able to attach him to a comedy, um, by the way, I should also consider adding an advert to this, no, I am going to do that, so yeah, that's fine, um, so my next turn, oh, uh, yeah, I did that right, didn't I, oh, no, I did, no, I did do a drop in budget as well, is that right? No, yes, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, instant coffee advert thing. So I'm going to take the Krakatoa. Basically, it gives me two million. Two million back. And then I'm going to draw another card from this deck here, which tells me I have to get rid of a TV show. We'll get rid of this one. I must get rid of another network card which is this one, and I have to get rid of another drop in budget. Now, this is getting slightly worried because this is uh, escalating a lot more than the last time. By the way, I should reveal that good branding gives you, at the end of the game, score two viewers for every show you have in one genre of your choice. So if I, you know, go on hard on one of these, um, this one would have given me lots of um, points for having lots of one single show. So it's better worth bearing in mind. Uh, then, now my next turn is I'm going to develop this i'm going to develop the north lawn show so this one costs me three million to develop so first thing is cost me three million so let's take that three uh, million here there we go and i'm going to replace the very charismatic explosion so these cards um get replaced this one goes on the top there uh, let me just find out what happens to adverts that are not used i think that they are just gotten rid of 
So let me, yeah, let me just check on developing a show. Uh, it says, um, uh, each show, yes, no, that's fine. Uh, discard any stars or attached ads attached to the cancel show to the bottoms of their deck. Well, that's fine. We're going to do that um, basically anyway. Uh, so yeah, basically that card gets discarded. Uh, did good job there, the Thumb Station video game console. And then very charismatic explosions goes into my rerun slot here, which is going to give me two two viewers at the end. Now I can attach, I have to attach a star, so I am going to do that. And this one says, uh, rotate unless this show is sitcom or drama. Well, the former comedian gone dramatic is uh, going to join the, the, the North Lawn show. But also, I'm going to add an uh, advert as well because I can, if I want to, add that. And I will add the Krakatoa Instant Coffee because it's going to give me more, more money from this. So I can rotate because I have at least one star left in the green room. And uh, this is going to give me two million. It's actually going to pay for itself and give me a little extra change there. So, uh, yeah, is that all right? Does that, does that make sense? Yeah, I think you can still see everything, right? Just worried that it's... Uh, my uh, kind of camera situation is a little bit sort of wide angle here, so just make sure that you can see everything on it. Okay, so that's been developed now, so there we go. Uh, I've taken that turn, so now I must reveal another network card, and hopefully, well, there's nothing here I'm too worried about. Maybe no drop and budget symbols, let's have a look. Okay, well, there we go, it's a drop and budget symbol. So now I have to get rid of the next TV show, so Upton Krabby is now um, been cancelled. Uh, or no longer available. Then we have to get rid of a network card, which is the last one of its kind. So yeah, we get rid of that. And then we have to get rid of a drop in budget space. There we go. So, so I'm actually only getting 4 million if I leave now. Now, do I want to carry on and take uh, something else so I can prepare myself for the next uh, the next thing? Oh, uh, I should have got a bonus, by the way. So as soon as I do this, I've got three of the same cards. So um, I, I gain five viewers, which is great. So I go to 48. And I get a bonus of either drawing three stars and keeping one or drawing three adverts, keeping one and taking money from the other two. Now, when I do this, do I have to pay for the star? I imagine so. So maybe I can't take it if I, if I don't. But there is a genre bonus here. Um, it says keep one without paying for it. Wonderful. Cool. Oh, but if you draw three ad cards, you keep one without getting its landing bonus, but you collect the landing bonus of the two cards you didn't select. So what do I think? I've got money. Money is not a problem. Uh, maybe having some stars is better because I don't really think I need adverts that much. I'm doing quite well. So yeah, I think I'm going to use the three um, stars and I'm going to keep one of them, but we don't have to pay for it. So that's, quick. that's good. So let's have a look. We've got the morning show host, which is, well, it's just a basic um, a, a basic person there. It doesn't give you that much extra viewers, but uh, don't have to pay a lot for it. We've got the cable series star, which is clearly someone from Game of Thrones. Um, again, not too many viewers, but it's a little bit more expensive and has an upkeep cost. Or we've got the creepy vampire, which is rotate unless this show is sci-fi. Now, it does add a little bit more uh, viewers to the show, but I don't have to pay the, the kind of landing bonus. So, or the signing bonus, whatever. Uh, but this one has more restrictions on it. And I don't know necessarily if I'm going to go down the sci-fi route. So I think the safer option is to take the Cable Series Star, which does have an upkeep cost, but it don't have to pay for it. So I'm going to take the Cable Series Star. It's going to add to my green room and those cards are going to get discarded. And there we go. So that's, the, that's my bonus. So I've done that. Now I can take another turn if I want. Uh, just looking at the board here, is there anything I really want? Hmm... I mean, that three uh, million bonus at the top there for that advert is pretty good. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I necessarily want to uh, leave any of my shows at the moment because these are still going to score me quite a lot. So I think I don't take anything. I'm not going to develop a TV show, but it's just whether I maybe take um, one of those uh, one of those adverts um, or one of those stars. Hmm. Let's take one of the stars. I think this one... It's so expensive. I don't think I should take that, actually. Uh, maybe this one. This one is not Lowe's, but even if I don't use him, it's only 1 million. So, yeah, I'm going to take the Celebrity Chef. Celebrity Chef. Oh, actually, I've already got so many of those. <laughs> I've, you know what? I'm going to take I'm going to take this one instead. I think I'm going to replace this, the 8 p.m. show eventually, so that one might be useful. See, so, yeah, I'm going to take this. Uh, it gives me 2 million as a uh, landing bonus, and then uh, I can gain... Well, even if I don't rotate, even if I rotate it, I'm still going to gain 1 million income instead of 2. So it's not the worst thing, but I am going to use it eventually. So yeah, that's it. I have to draw one of these cards. What I don't want to see now is a network card symbol. 
that was that was good. I didn't get one of those. So I have to get rid of a TV show. So yeah, we get rid of that. Uh, we so say bye to American Samurai Warrior. We get rid of the Celebrity Chef. And we get rid of the drop in budget space, which sucks because... I'm only going to get 2 million now for going into the next season, but I think that's going to set me up nicely. It may mean I don't have to take as many turns next round as well. So yeah, that gets discarded, and then that's the end of the go. Now, I'm going to end my go now, so I'm going to do the drop in budget action, which gives me 2 million um, for, for budget. That's how much spare I've got at the end, and now I end my turn. So now we do the, the end of game thing again, which is income expenses. My income is 4, my expenses is 2, so I gain 2 million. So there we go. Uh, in fact, maybe I ought to just be better at uh, doing the f use taking the fives. Doesn't matter. I'll keep it for now. Uh, next thing we do is score lineup and rerun. So we add up all our viewers. So we've got seven here. We've got ten here because of the six and the four together. So seventeen. Add a six here. A nine actually. Six and nine. So where was I? Seven, seventeen, twenty-six plus my reruns, which is two. So twenty-eight. 28 in total so let's have a look we've got uh 28 oh, sorry so 48 56 and then 66 76 okay so there we go i've done that age all the shows so this one goes down into season three so does this one and this one goes down into season two so there we go uh now we have uh done that we set up for the next season okay uh now in the one player game by the way uh what we need to do is um we need to uh check the points thing here because it does say at the end of season two if i've scored at least 65 viewers which i did um let's go back to the season one rules the one player rules sorry uh, and it says uh at the end of season two if you have at least 65 viewers you may move a cube back out of the turn order track well that's good because we want that um whether you did or didn't take the season four scoring square from the season track yeah this one this token right here and we place it um, underneath your scoring square, which is here. So now I need to get 176 viewers by the end of season four if I want to gain another one of those bonuses. And there we go. Remove the season two tokens from the board. So yeah, we get rid of this one and we get rid of this one. And there we go, we're done. So there we go. Now we clean up the season, uh, which basically says, um, again, just wanna make sure, we move reruns to archives, so there we go. So this goes here now, uh, wonderful. Uh, we discard all unused cards, wonderful. So we say goodbye to those and those and this. And then we uh, draw new cards, determine new order and move season market, wonderful. So it's very simple. So now we're gonna draw four more of these. So let's see what we've got. We've got the syndication. Play this card during rerun scoring. Each of your rerun this season, this season scores four additional viewers. So there we go, that's all right. It's a pretty good one. We've got uh, Sweep Sweep. This is a one times use card. Play at the start of your turn. Either take an extra action at the end of your action or draw two network cards and keep one. That one might be quite nice, actually. Maybe I should focus more on those, but I don't want to take too many because they do tend to run out quick, quickly. We've got Showrunner. Play at the end of a season to prevent one of your shows from aging. Uh, that would be really good if I played it on here, for example, because it gets me 11 viewers. Um, so maybe that one's another nice one to consider. Uh, or this one, which is just simply get five viewers. Then we draw the f uh, four more, uh, sorry, five more shows. So we've got the Cringe, which is obviously instead of Fringe. Uh, these are kind of like getting older, these references and stuff. We've got Dexterous, which is obviously reference to Dexter. And uh, that one scores quite a lot, actually, if you look at the viewers there. So does this one, Ag Agents of Shampoo, which is obviously Agents of Shield. Then we've got Criminal Mindfulness, um, which is obviously like just a well, well-wishing um, version of crime show. And then we've got Pulley Edge, which that one, I'm not entirely sure what that one's meant to be. If you have any idea about that one, please let me know, because that one's lost on me. Pulley Edge? Pulley Edge? I don't know. L Linea? No, I, I, I'm, I'm lost with that one. And then we draw four um, stars. We've got that kid from the commercial. Uh, rotate unless you have unused ads left in your green room. Okay. Um, one million, very low scoring though. We've got Comedian Your Parents Like. Uh, which is rotate unless this show is sitcom. Well, that could be, w that's no good for us right now. We've got children's show host, uh, which says rotate if show has ads. So no, no good if um, they're on a, like a commercial thing. And we've got the soap opera star, which is rotate unless this show is drama. We're looking at the symbols right now. I think the action's the next one we wanna do because that's how we'll get bonuses. And we have two of those out there right now. So uh, then we draw four adverts. We've got the plague blaster toothpaste, Rotate unless the show is on preferred time slot. Easily achievable. We've got Emergency Trousers Limited, 
um, which is just the high landing bonus but low income. We've got perfect ponchos. And finally we have, which is very much the same as that one, and we have also the gunmetal chewing gum. Uh, this says rotate unless you have stars left in your green room, which we actually do. So there we go. So I think the first thing we want to do is consider which of these to take. Um, sweep sweep might be um, quite, no, no, that's not the one we wanted. Was it showrunner to prevent one of my shows from aging? Um, uh, I'm not sure about that one. That one doesn't seem that good. I think the first one is the one we want. Uh, no, no, that's not the one. This one. Play at the start of your turn to take an action or to draw two cards and keep one. I think that one's quite nice because that might help us out in a end game scoring or something. So I'm going to take that as my first action. I'm just going to put it on the side there. I think you can see it there. So that's fine. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, so that's my turn done. So we draw one of these cards. Uh, okay. So we have to get rid of a network card, which is this one. Uh, that's good. We don't want that one anyway. <laughs> and uh, then the next thing we do is we do one of these. Oh, should have put these out and that. Uh, so now we put that there and that's it that's the end of that so now we need to start developing these shows um, we want to get rid of the 9 p.m. slot and none of those are in the 9 p.m. slot now we could just take those cards and just ignore the slot um, thing which wouldn't be the best um, or I can consider doing something else do I maybe want to take um, the the sci-fi instead the sci-fi could work I guess um, <clears throat> that one maybe that one's got a decent number of viewers and uh, doesn't cost what well, costs a lot to to create and, and and a decent amount to maintain but it does allow me to attach an advert to that which would pay for itself and i can add a um a, like this guy to it so yeah i think maybe i mean i'm taking a bit of a different decision here because i kind of want to keep this show definitely want to keep this show and maybe keep this one but i definitely need to get rid of that one so i need something that goes in the 9 p.m slot so yeah i'm going to take um, this one. I'm going to take this one. Agents of Shampoo. I'm developing it. So this one goes here. Costs me five million to develop. So that's in the bank. Um, then we take this. We put this here. Uh, this is discarded. So we get rid of the adorable hipster. She's played her part. This becomes a rerun. This token goes here. And now we must attach a star to this, but we may also attach an advert as well. Um, this one, I think... Uh, is going to have to be attached here, which is actually good because I'll gain 13 viewers for that series. And now I have to attach um, this. Now, I may as well keep this because uh, this one is only good if it's on an 8 p.m. show. And I think that I want to do is just attach this one, which isn't great, actually, because I'm going to lose money on this deal right now. <laughs> I can afford it, though. Yeah, I just need to attach it. Or maybe I don't even attach. No, I should. I should. I should attach an ad to it. To it. Or should I have taken some of those instead? I should have, shouldn't I? I didn't play this right. In fact, that one would have been perfect, damn it. So I've already played this wrong. Um, it doesn't matter. Do I want to take it back? Oh, I haven't done it yet, though, technically. I haven't revealed any new information. So I'm going to take that turn back, actually. Sorry. I'm going to do that end up. I'm going to end up doing that later on anyway. But I've just seen a much better way of doing this. So we put this back. Uh, we put this back. Uh, we put this back here, we put this token on there, I think it was. No, we put this here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these instead. Now, either that left one or the right one would be really good. Um, so I think I'll take this one. I'll take this one. So we're going to use the uh, Plague Blaster toothpaste. I'm going to take that, gives me 2 million. Oh, I uh, take that 5 back, by the way, because I didn't spend it in the end. So I take 2 million. In fact, um, let's just take another 5 instead. There we go. So I take that, and my uh, and now my star is is good. The only thing I risk now is missing out on taking this card, which actually would be would be bad. Um, but I didn't want to do it anyway. Like I want to keep that show. So I actually, might not develop many of these shows at all. Maybe it is worth doing one of these. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to reveal this card to see what we have to get rid of this turn. Uh, we have to get rid of a a advert, which is fine. We can get rid of that. And we also get rid of another drop and budget. So there we go. So that's it. Simple. It's actually a really simple game to, to run. Um, if you have any questions, by the way, just let me know. Okay, so now I'm going to develop a show. And yes, I oh, I don't want to develop that cringe show. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to replace this. And that's going to be really good. It's going to be really good this turn. It's not going to gain me more stuff. So I think I'll just not take that. And I'm going to develop my Agents of Shampoo as I intended. So yeah, Agents of Shampoo is going to come on the show. It's going to come on the air. So we take this and we do the same thing we did before, which is develop it. Cost 5 million. Then we... Oh, actually, or do we want to even take a, a star that might score us more? Um, there's... 
there is a two and a four, um, a three and a two. No, I think this is fine. I think this is fine. So yeah, I'm gonna basically keep this. So five minion goes there. This goes on the air. Uh, now the adorable hi hipster gets discarded again. Um, this is gonna go on the top slot there because it's on its preferred time slot. This becomes a rerun. Then I'm gonna attach the required star. So this actually fits, I think. You could bring someone in from Game of Thrones onto Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. There, that adds there. And now we can add an advert to it. And I think I will, because this is actually costing me a lot of money to keep on the air. Uh, so we'll add the toothpaste ad to this, uh, which means that I only end up costing me one million for that show instead. Okay, so that's that that's the end of that. Um, then I draw this. I think I've done everything right, yeah? Yeah, I think I have. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could actually, or I could use this maybe. Oh, play at the start of your turn. I could do two actions for one, that's quite nice. Um, well, it depends what we see here anyway. So we're gonna do this. Uh, okay, so we get rid of a TV show, uh, which is the cringe, it's fine, we didn't want that anyway. And then also get rid of a advert up here. So actually we're doing pretty good. Um, we could accumulate um, like another star maybe because we're running low on those. Um, and that's not going to put us at risk of anything. The only thing we might want to do is to play at the end of a season to prevent something from aging. Now, uh, that would be best placed if I was to play it right now with North Lawn. Um, although I'm only losing one uh, one viewer from that, so it's not too bad. But maybe if I was to play it here, I would actually gain 13. So it might be nice to take that just because it can potentially help us um, later on. Or I could just take one of these stars. Um, this one might be nice because I'm probably going to have advert left and at the end of the round anyway. Um, and that one pays off later on. Yeah. Uh, what's the other one? Yeah, I mean, I need, an, I need a star. So I'm going to take this one. That one's probably the most likely for me to be able to... Oh, actually, this one. This one, because I um, will have a sitcom. I'm going to be going for more of those later. Um, and Or this one. So one of these two. I think I'll take... Two, four. I think I'll take this one. This is going to pay off for me better, I think. So yeah, I'm going to take this star. So a land the star. It cost me one million to do that. Um, and then that's the end of my turn. So we draw this. I'm probably going to lose out on... You know what? I take that back. I take that back because, again, this is really bad. I don't like to do the whole take back your turn thing. Um, but sometimes it's... Uh... Yeah, so I get one million back. I'm going to take this card because I think this one's going to go. Play at the end of... Uh, a season to prevent one of your shows from aging. Yes, I'm going to take that. So now I do this card and reveal it. So we get rid of the star, uh, which is this. We get rid of the advert, which is this. And then we get rid of a drop, drop, drop and budget, which is that. And that gets discarded. Now I'm going to do the taking the star. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the star. I think that's totally fine. So I take the star, cost me one million. Uh, that's the end of that. So I draw one of these and I don't want to see a money symbol if possible okay that's great we get rid of the tv show there we go and that's it that's literally it okay so now um all oh, right i could have drawn this to draw one of my network cards and keep one but i think i'll have to do it at the start of next and as long as i remember oh no technically it's my turn now so i could draw two now and see what they are so yeah let me do that so i'm going to play this card for sweeps week i draw i either take an extra action or draw two network cards and keep one so i'm going to draw two network cards and keep one of these Oh, okay. So play to count as any genre icon when determined if you get a genre bonus. That might be very nice because it'll immediately get the bonus for five, um, for having five when I get my next sitcom, which would be good. Or it could be the, the difference between me getting um, a three bonus with one of these blue or green genre of shows. I think this one. Let's take this one. So I'm going to take this, and now that's been used up, so I get rid of those, both of those. And that's the end of my turn. Uh, no, so it's the beginning of my turn. Now I'm going to drop and budget. So I take four million. Um, actually, let's just get rid of one and take five. And then I am done. Perfect. So that's that. And now I uh, that's the end of my turn, so nothing happens. I do the income expenses. So I got two, four, six, minus um, five, four, three, two. So I get, still get two million uh, as a as a total income gain there. Uh, then I will do the score lineup and rerun. So let's have a look here. We've got uh, six plus 10, 16 plus 11, so 27 plus two, so 29. So I get 29 total, um, which adding to 76, so that's 76, 85, 95, 105, 105. I think I'm really gonna have a trouble 
getting um, getting up to 76, 176 this time, this round. But you know what? We can possibly do it. I'm in season three now, right? Yeah, so I should be here. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, yes. Oh, so yeah, no, I'm probably going to struggle, struggle to get that, to be honest. Uh, we'll see. You never know. Okay, so then we've gained all of that. We aged the show. So there we go. There we go. And there we go. Uh, we archive this, so let's do that so that we can see all of our genres that matter. So we've got one uh, sitcom there and one action. There we go. And then the next thing that happens is I set up for next season. So uh, setting up for next season is... Um, uh, again, I've forgotten. <laughs> Discarding cards, I'm pretty sure, is the first set step. My gosh, my, my brain is tired today. So at the end of the season, remove reruns to archives, which we've done. Discard all unused cards. Yes, fine. I should just keep that page open because I'm obviously going to refer to it again. So we get rid of all of these. Uh, we get rid of these. We get rid of this. Um, then we uh, we draw new cards. Fine. We'll draw two full network cards. We've got this one, which is director. At any time on your turn. Oh, did I want to play at the end of a season? No, I'll play this one to stop this one from aging, I think, because I do want to have M3. So anytime on your turn, rotate the stars and ads on all of your active shows as preferred. So that one could be good because uh, you basically you're bringing in a new director who's basically going to bump up... Um, who's going to bump up... Uh, sorry. Going to bump up all of your kind of... If you were very bad at planning, you can kind of mitigate that somewhat. Then we've got the uh, daytime soaps. After scoring reruns, you may spend three million to keep one rerun from dropping into archives. Discard and spend three million at game end to score reruns during end game scoring. Uh, so that one's a bit complicated, actually. After scoring reruns, you may spend three million to keep one rerun from dropping into archives. Discard and spend three million at game end to score reruns during end game scoring. Okay, so if you spend three million, uh, yeah, so you can keep reruns going. Um, and then you can also spend three million at the end to score reruns during end game scoring. So that would be really good um, if you're planning to kind of keep reruns. It's going to cost you a lot of money, but it could score you a lot of points at the end of the game, which might be nice actually. So then we've got the audience data. Spend one million less every time you develop a show. Discard to spend no money when developing a show. That one's really good. I think I might try and get that one actually. And then this one, which is uh, syndication. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got... Did I... Did I get? No, I'm pretty sure I got that right anyway. Uh, play this card during rerun scoring. Each of your reruns this season scores four additional. That would be a really good one paired up with that one as well. Um, each of your reruns this season. That's so good. Oh, but that's only a one-time use. But if you played at the end, man, that would be very good. Might be worth considering that, actually. Um, that one is better for just saving a little bit of money. Um, I might try this route, actually. After scoring reruns, spend three... That's good. That's good. Okay, uh, so anyway, we're into season four now. So, carrying on. Oh, we have to keep drawing cards. Oh, so now we get rid of this card because we're in season four. So actually, we're not longer playing with these. We're playing with the season four and five cards. So just give them a quick shuffle. Um, so these ones should be the most advanced shows yet, but it does mean I've only got, um, uh, you know, a couple more turns to develop shows and try and get those genre bonuses. So let's hope we've got at least some comedy here. Well, we've got the limping treated and released, which is obviously the walking dead. Um, then we've got the Ultimate Fainting Championship, which is very good, because that's the show I'd watch, probably. Um, then we've got Quiver, which is obviously instead of Arrow. Uh, we have uh, Red Bloods instead of Blue Bloods. And then we have uh, Monday Night Foosball. Well, that sucks because um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get my five sitcoms now. So whether I go for the green or the blue... Uh, well, let's have a look. We want to get, uh, get rid of my 8 p.m. slot for sure. And getting these shows out now would be very good because if you see they have a lot more um, points on them already. This one, for example, scores me 15 if I if I get that one, um, which is phenomenal. But it's just whether I'll be able to get that uh, genre bonus, which I'm looking for. So then we get some stars. So we've got the reality TV judge. Then we've got the square drawed actor, which will rotate unless it's drama. And that one scores a lot of money, uh, a lot of extra viewers, that one. Then we've got the reality show vote collector, um, which counts... Uh, which will rotate unless it's reality, but it also counts as an advert. It's quite nice, I guess. So, yeah. And then we've got the police procedural mainstay, which he needs to go into a drama unless uh, otherwise he rotates. And then we've got the adverts. So we've got American beers, which needs to be attached to sports, which might be very nice if I'm thinking about going for those sports ones. 
and we've got the Crazy Pete's Discount Plutonium, which only can be added onto a 10 p.m. show, otherwise it loses its ability. Uh, we've got the Reflux Orange Juice, which is rotate unless the show's on at nine. Or we've got the um, we've got the Brunhilde's Brilliant Brooms Treat Your Floor, uh, which is just a straight up um, general advert with no requirements. Okay, great. So these go back up to here. This goes out there, and uh, and now we begin. So uh, now to think about what I'm actually going to do um, in terms of developing shows. Do I try for the sports thing? Um, that one's at nine and at ten p.m. Um, they would gain me more things, so I possibly should consider it. But I've just put Agents of Shampoo on the air. It feels silly to take it off um, for that reason. So maybe I will maybe take the 10 p.m. one. Um, that's going to score me 10, then 15, which is really good. Uh, it's a lot to keep on the air, but at this point I have got enough money that I can afford that. And maybe if I put um, maybe if I put like an advert on it. Well, no, no, that's no good. Um, there's a sports one there. That one's the one I probably want, and that would pay for itself. So yeah, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this, the sports show thing, uh, basically uh, American beers, so I gain a 1 million bonus for, for getting them, for the sponsorship, etc. And if I attach that to a show, it's going to give me 3 million. So now I draw this card to see what we get rid of. Uh, we get rid of one of the star cards. Well, that's fine because we didn't plan to take them anyway. So there we go. Okay. Um, then we do our next thing which is Ultimate Fighting Championship, but I'm gonna hold off on that because what I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna try this. This might not work, but I'm gonna try it. So I take the daytime soaps, basically after scoring reruns, I can spend to keep them, to keep one rerun. That's only one though. Hmm. And at the end of the game, score reruns during end game scoring if I spend three million. Maybe that's not the best. Maybe that isn't the best. Uh, maybe I could take this one and it means it's cheaper to develop shows. Um, again, it's not going to make a huge difference, but maybe that one. I just think that one was better if, with that one, potentially. Um, oh, that's going to score me so much, though. Actually, I'm taking my back. I'm going to do what I thought. Uh, yes, I could save a million. Money isn't really an issue. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take daytime soaps. Uh, basically meaning uh, I can score reruns, um, keep one, spend three million. At the end of the round, at the end of the game, I can score one of these reruns, which if it's a three one is very good. And I can keep um, and score it again uh, during end game scoring. But if I pair it up with this one, I can play it during end game uh, rerun scoring. And each of my reruns will score four additional viewers. That could be like, you know, that could be, you know, up to 12, um, it could be up to 12, even 16 points, 16 viewers, which could be nice. So that's my plan for that. So I've taken that one. Now I'm gonna um, now I'm gonna draw and see what we get rid of. We get rid of another star here, um, based on these symbols on the bottom. And you're also gonna lose one of these drop and budget tokens over here. So there we go, that's all. That one, by the way, is agency. Draw any mix of up to three stars ads and or network cards into their pools. Spend one million for each card you draw, then take another action. That would be good for extending the game, actually. Um, and actually, that could that would be really good for the solo because it means that if I'm low on, for example, star cards, I can just be like, well, let's just draw some more star cards and extend the game round, which was quite nice. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's the end of the turn. And now we have to consider. Hey, I don't. I have to want to get rid of. I want to put something in the 8 p.m. slot because that one is really struggling. Um, maybe this 8 p.m. show here, Red Bloods. It's not as lucrative. Um, but it would give me another one. I could potentially get another bonus there. Um, so maybe developing this one is the right way. What does he need? He needs a star, <clears throat> which I need a good star for that one. Um, that one looks like it's not drama, is it? What's the symbols here? What am I missing? The symbols. Um, <laughs> so we've got six different kinds of shows. I'm just gonna check what one means which one. Which one means which? Okay, so action is, okay, so drama is the one. So that one is a drama. It does say drama. No, that one basically needs to be on a um, action thing. But none of these stars actually have that. So that's frustrating. Unless I add my, like, rubbish, um, my rubbish one over here, which I don't really want to do. We're getting to that point of the game now where we really need something. Um, man, these are these are not the best for me. Uh, rotate unless this shows reality. Again, we've got no reality shows on the, on the go. So, yeah, it's kind of tricky. Um, hmm what to do. I think that what I might do is, um, hmm, 
do I do I have to get rid of one of these shows? It's if it's better for points, it's probably better to do it. Um, that one's costing me a lot of money, and I don't really plan on getting the bonus for that one. So I could replace a 9 p.m. slot. So I could just take this one. That's probably not the. That's probably not a bad idea. That one. And if I attach an advert to it, which I will be able to do, then it will pay for itself. And I could attach a another advert to it as well if I wanted. So I could add two adverts to it. Um, so if I took another advert, the 9 p.m. one, for example. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'll take this as my next turn. So I'll take the reflux orange juice. Uh, gives me two million and uh, lets me gain two million income if I add it to the show. So I have to reveal one of these for this. Um, so I have to get rid of a star. Here we go. And then I have to get rid of a, a drop and budget action. That's fine. So there we go. And that's exactly the same card as the last one that was revealed. Uh, then I'm gonna do the developing a show action. So I'm gonna take Monday night foosball. So foosball's coming on the air. Here we go. So we take that. We get rid of all of these. Uh, this becomes a rerun. Uh, these cards are discarded. So we get rid of them into their appropriate piles, discard piles. Then this becomes a new show on the air, which I'm gonna attach. Definitely have to attach one advert to it, but I'm gonna attach two of them. So we're gonna add these. We're gonna add uh, American beers, which is gonna stay because it's a sports show. And we're gonna add the reflux orange juice, which is gonna stay because it's a 9 p.m. show. So actually, this is gonna be an expensive show, which by the way, I still need to pay for. So you need to spend one to, pe to develop that show, but it's gonna actually pay for itself and give me some extra money because it's going to give me 5 million uh, every time, every season. So that's not bad. And because it's on the appropriate uh, slot, it's going to give me 12, uh, 12 viewers, which is very good. So that's that. Now we draw this card and see what we get rid of. We get rid of a TV show. So say goodbye to the uh, limping, treated and released. And we have get rid of another one of these, which is fine. And now we carry on. Now what's the next thing we need to do? We probably want to develop another show for 8 p.m. Um, we can get that blue blood, red blood show um, because this one's going to score us absolutely nothing at this round. So yes, that's probably the next thing we need to do. Now it needs a star, which we don't have. So we could, uh, don't really want that because it's not going to give us anything. So maybe we just use our rubbish star on that. Oh no, this one still scores us something at least, but it's not the best. Um, so yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll have to take a star um, to <clears throat> just to be able to score this one, but it can also attach a um, another star or an advert to it. In fact, I'll add this two million uh, advert to it because uh, it will cost me one million upkeep. So yeah, I'm going to develop the show. So this cost me four million because of my um, wait. Did it? <gasps> no, I didn't take this card, did I? So I should have spent an extra million on that last show. Um, and stupidly, I should probably take this one as well. In fact, I'll have to take this one now, because uh, like an idiot, I should have realized that before. So I take that one, let's see what we get rid of. We get rid of a star, and we get rid of a uh, an advert. Here we go. And now we, uh, we, now we can develop the show. Now at this point, by the way, I am now risking uh, being able to lose stuff. So if I develop this and I take this next turn, in fact, let me just take this now, because I think that's a good one. I'll take that one, that's gonna help me later on in the game. Um, so there we go, let's take that and let's place that and let's place that there. If there's any question about these cards and what they do, just ask me by the way, no problem. Uh, so there we go, I've done that action. So now we reveal another network card and see what we get rid of. Well, we get rid of a TV show, which is fine. And now we also get rid of a drop and budget space. So there we go. So now what we don't wanna see is we don't wanna see any stars uh, coming up because if we reveal a star or a drop and budget space We're actually gonna stop dropping those cubes down and we don't want that because if all of those cubes go down We lose the game, but I do need to do something useful in this turn So I'm going to develop this show now that I have this I have to spend one less on it. So let's get rid of four million um, For this let's get rid of four million and we're gonna put this show on the air at 8 p.m Here we go uh, So this show goes there and um, we're gonna get rid of this as a rerun. So there we go and then we're gonna get rid of this one, discard it out of the way, and there we go. And now we put this on as a new series. We need a star, which is fine. We're gonna add, um, we're gonna add this, we're gonna add this one, because even though it's less good, um, slightly less good than this one, we are still planning to develop a sitcom, so that one would be better placed next to it. So this one goes on here, and then we're gonna add an advert to it, which is this one. Uh, so sassy salad dressings. This show is an 8 p.m. show, so it will remain on its high side there. And then there we go. 
so that's that and now that's my turn so I have to do another one of these cards and what I don't want to see is that star symbol colored up on the bottom which it isn't is that is that not perfect actually let me have a look so we get rid of a TV show we get rid of an advert oh god this couldn't have gone any better really we get rid of an advert and we get rid of one of these so basically wiped out the entire board here from that card but it was very fortunate so there we go um so that one gets rid of i'm just going to read this out anyway so you know what it does and this one says play when developing a show ignore one prerequisite star or ad or you can develop the show for no money so yeah i did spend money on that show that i just developed right five million Yes, I did. I'm pretty sure I did. I spent the four. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now um, that's it. Do I want to do any of these things? Um, I don't think I want to play this yet. I think I'll play this next round because it basically stops one of my shows aging, gets double points from it. Um, play the card doing rerun scoring. Um, play to count as a genre icon when you determine if you get a genre bonus. I could play that right now um, or I could hope to get a, a, a sitcom next turn. And if I only get one sitcom drawn, then I could get the five genre bonus, which basically means I can get one of these cards, which is probably better. And I have the option to then spend money to turn into viewers, which is probably better. So, yeah, I'm just looking if there's anything else I want to do. Not going to spend that yet. Um, not going to spend that yet. Uh, after scoring reruns and play card during rerun scoring. I think I'm going to keep both of these. Um, I'm going to use that, but I'm also going to keep this till the end. So yeah, so let's just do what we need to do, which is income and expense. So we count all of our income, which is two, five, seven, nine, minus upkeep costs, which is four, so five. So I get five million um, for that, which is actually really good. Uh, so five million. Uh, now we do the score lineup and rerun. So let's score the lineup first, uh, which is seven, eight. Uh, 8 plus 12 is 20, then we have 20 plus 10 is 30, then we have plus 5, so 35 in total, which would take us, oh, we, we should get our hands on this token now, by the way, because we have officially um, uh, gone over um, <laughs> uh, 100 viewers. So yeah, 35 plus 5, so that's 40, 140 total. Um, so we're still about 125 away from winning the game, which makes me slightly worried, not going to lie. Uh, it says... During rerun scoring, you can end your each of your reruns this soon, but I don't want to use that yet because each of them scores four additional though. You know what? I'm I'm good. I'm gonna hold on to that. But after scoring reruns, you may spend three million to keep one rerun from dropping into archives. So yeah, let's do that. Let's spend um three million, so there's two million back, to basically stop this one from dropping into archives. So it's gonna give us another three million at the end there. So then we put this here, which means now we've actually still got two of these. Uh, cards here, which is good. And now we're going to um, uh, go on to the next thing, which is age shows. So these ones we go here. This one we go here. Again, I don't think I'm going to play this yet because this one um, I'm going to get rid of next turn anyway. And I think I can get that beneficial at the end of the game when I'm scoring loads more points, hopefully. So yeah, that's the end of that. Uh, we then set up the next scene. So we'd usually discard all the cards, but obviously those have gone. Uh, let's put all of these back up to here. And, uh, oh, I should have got 2 million as from dropping out, actually. I should have got 2 million from that. Forgot to do that. Sorry. So, yeah. Um, obviously, got to make sure I could that. We're on the next season now, so we get rid of this. And we get rid of this. We didn't get a bonus, but we didn't need it anyway, turns out. So, that's good. And then, uh, we, yeah, we draw no cards now. So, we get 4 of these. Uh, well, we already looked at this one. It's the last one we checked. So, basically, we can play when developing a show to ignore a prerequisite or develop it for no money, which is pretty good. Um... So then we have the Sweeps Week, which we already looked at, which lets you draw more um, network cards. Then we have the um, Audition, draw a star and keep it for free. And then finally we have the Star Sponsor. Uh, when you develop a show, if you spend this card, you can um, use the prerequisite of a star to actually do an advert instead. So it gives you a little bit more flexibility. So then we have um, the next season, which is the last season of the game. We have ba Babylonian Idol. Um, which is a looks like a drama. Is it not a drama? I want to say that's a drama um, But I'm not see I don't think we've seen many of those cards actually um, Let's have a look. Oh, it's a reality. Yeah, I don't know if that's maybe the first reality we've seen But what we really want is we really want a sitcom which is there 31 paper instead of 30 rock Which is quite nice and actually that one's at 10 p.m which is perfect that's exactly the one we want now if we get two of these that would probably be better because it would be easier for us it's not that it's flea instead of glee um then we have finally uh no so it's penultimately we have ncisicbmomgomg scranton 
which is obviously a spoof on NCIS. <laughs> uh, then we have, finally, we have Broken Worse instead of Breaking Bad. Uh, very recognizable lead character there. Uh, okay, so then we draw four of these stars, which is the intense dramatic actor. Then we have the Korea stuntman. Uh, that guy needs to be on a drama. That guy needs to be on an action show. Uh, we've got the satirical news anchor. And then we have the medical drama mainstay. And those have no requirements. Then the adverts. Finally, we have the after the break, which is pay five million or um, don't get or rotate that card. We've got the potato nator. We've got the diet sugar cola. And then finally, we have the after chocolate bars. Now, this one means you have to have an advert in your green room when you play it to be able to keep it on its higher side. And that one is um, rotate unless you have stars in green room. So as long as I have at least one star left, I can play that one. So that's the last cards of the game. Um, <clears throat> so I really need to develop that uh, 31 paper. Um, it needs a star, which I already have one in the wings, which is nice. Um, it also could have another star or some more money. Now, money isn't a problem for me at the moment, so another star would be good. Um, either of those two on the right would be really useful, actually. Um, it looks like this is this guy. Sort of, this guy looks like it could be this one. Um, but obviously, it's obviously not. It's just a little thing I noticed. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, yeah, I think the, my main goal will be to, to get that star and develop that show. Um because I can add both of these stars to that show and give me lots of viewers for it, because those ones don't tend to have viewers. Then I could also develop that um, the NCIS show, because that'll be my third one, and that will mean I can get my bonus. But it's whether I want that bonus first. I think that it's possible getting the fifth one would be better, because I could then potentially draw three of these cards and keep one and then use it in the rest of the round. But unless it's an end game scoring thing, then it's gonna be pretty tricky. Did I spend? Three million. I'm pretty sure I spent three million then at the end. If I didn't, I do apologize um, for that card. I think I should have spent three million. I'm pretty sure I did. Okay. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> yeah, getting that blue card would also get me three stars or three actually, or three adverts. Hmm. Um, developing that one on the 10 p.m. slot is better for me to do now. Actually. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah. No. I'll no developing that one first. Um, because actually I want um, this one, it's going to score me more points. Oh no, but that one's going to have more stuff attached to it. Actually, that one can have loads of stuff attached to it. So if it's just for the bonus, developing this now just by putting a generic star on it would be better. And then afterwards putting that on it and I can score 10 and 13 points with loads of stuff attached to it. So that's generally better. <clears throat> and that one in my rerun would be gr brilliant because I would actually score more points for those and I could get to score... Um, to to score reruns doing end game scoring, um, which is pretty good. So yeah, I think this is what I need. Now I need to get another star, another couple of stars potentially. Um, that's an action show. So yeah, let's take this. Let's take this st career stuntman. So I'm taking the career stuntman. Cost me one million, and then I draw one of these to see what we get rid of. We get rid of one of these cards. Um, that would have been so good actually. No, that's fine. I didn't need that. So we get rid of one of those cards and we get rid of one of these. So there we go. Now I'm going to take um, another star, uh, an action one maybe. I think I'll just take this. I think I'll just take this this star here. Yeah. No, actually, if I play the third... Ooh, I don't even... Yes, no, sorry. <laughs> I need that show to be on the air. Yeah, so actually, I'm just thinking out loud, sorry. Just, uh, so I might take take this card now and just bung that, that thing on it because I'm not going to keep that anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to develop this show. A developing show for me costs one less because of that. So it costs me four money. So let's spend that now before I forget. So there we go. Spending four money. This is now developed. So I get rid of these. Um, this goes into my reruns. That should have That should have moved. No, I kept that at the end of last turn, didn't I? Yes, that's right. So that one goes into my reruns. These are discarded. So bye-bye, um, former comedian gone dramatic. And uh, sorry, Krakatoa Instant Coffee, your, your sponsorship is over. Uh, this goes on here. And now I must attach a star to it, which I will. I'll attach this one, um, which goes into here. And that's that. Then I do the end of this. There's nothing else I forgot to do there, is it? No. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure that's right. So now we draw this card, get rid of an advert. That's fine. We can handle getting rid of that. And we also get rid of another drop in budget space. And then this goes here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take one of these stars over here. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this advert <coughs> here. So I'm going to land this advert. This gives me 2 million to start with and gives me 2 million on a show. Then the next thing I'm going to do is, um, well, reveal this card because I have to. <laughs> then we're going to take an advert and one of these pink cards away. That's fine. So we get rid of an advert and we get rid of one of these network cards and that's that done. Oh, this one, this card is called um, Preempted Time Slot. You may immediately drop and budget offer after an action. Discard to get two viewers after you drop and budget. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> okay, so the next thing is I am now going to spend, um, because I've developed this. Oh, I should have done this last time, but I'm going to develop this now. I'm going to spend it to get a genre bonus. So I spend that card. So that's discarded. And now we get the fifth bonus. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So I can draw three of these and keep one of them. Or I can draw three of these, um, keeping one of them for free. Or I can draw three of these and keep one, uh, get one of the, mo the money from the other two. Now, depending, considering the fact I'm not really planning to develop um, more shows, um, I think that I will um, take the network card option. So the first thing I'll do is gain five viewers. So there we go. Let's take those. So 45. Then I'm going to um, draw three of these and keep one. So let's see. Okay. So we can either exclusive rights. As you take this card, place an available show on it without paying. You may spend a develop show action to put this show in your lineup. No. I don't want that one. Then we have this one, which we already talked about before, which means you can drop and budget after an action, meaning I don't have to waste another turn um, to do stuff, but I don't think I'll need that one either. This one, um, I already have this one, but I can spend more to keep more reruns, and then I can own... Oh, this is good, actually, because I can keep more reruns and then spend one of the cards to score them all. So I can keep more reruns and then still use one of these cards to score them all at the end of the game. So that one's probably the best one for me to keep, actually. So let's keep that one. So we keep that one. Uh, that's that. I've done my genre bonus. And then I did... Yeah, I did that already. So now I think uh, what I need to do is to do my new develop action. Um, I need to... Oh! Uh, sorry, the other thing I get from, from five is if you reached five like genres, exchange money for viewers at a rate of four million for three viewers. Now I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So let's spend eight money of this. Um, ooh. Ooh, I just realized something horrible. I can't spend too much because I need to develop that show over there. Um, so actually, I think what I might do is just spend four money to get three million viewers. Uh, which isn't the best, you know, I'm not going to lie, that's not great for me, but I think that's probably the only option at this point, because then I'd have to spend another turn to get advert, just to get money to be able to spend on that, so yeah, that's not the best, but I'm going to go with it. Okay, so um, that was my, that I've already did the discarding cards, um, but that was just like a bonus action that I did, so now I'm going to develop, uh, oh, a star? Oh yeah, no, I'm going to take one of these stars, so I'm going to take the uh, let's take the medical drama mainstay because I feel like she'd be better in, in a show like that anyway. So yeah, I'm going to take this. Um, yeah, this is fine. I'm going to take this. It uh, cost me three million, um, which is just about the amount that I need left to develop that last show. <laughs> Thank goodness. And then uh, then I draw one of these cards. No, we've, we've got rid of all of these now. So now I have to shuffle these. Uh, in the meantime, if anyone has any questions for me, um, they'd like to ask, just let me know. Um, I've seen it's a bit quiet on the on the stream today, but that's fine because I think everybody's probably out um, enjoying the sunshine or maybe I just started the stream too early. Um, but it's still been a fun game and uh, I will still be putting this up on my YouTube channel anyway. So there'll be something for people to enjoy if they were curious about this game. And this game always takes me longer. Uh, all of these solo games take me longer to play than I think because I like to talk through my turns a lot. But yeah, anyway, so uh, yeah, just going to shuffle these one more time, um, and then I'll do a cut as well. Let's do a cut as well, just in case. And there we go. So now we're going to draw um, one of these cards to see what happens to us, what stuff we discard. Well, we're going to get rid of a TV show, and we're going to get rid of a advert. So it's the last advert of the game, but actually I'm in a good position right now, because um, this basically means 
um, that I will have plenty of leeway when it comes to dropping stuff. So as long as I don't draw loads of cards or take too many more turns, uh, I'm good. So yeah, this is going to go here. Uh, I'm going to basically develop this show. This is now the uh, new... So the 31 paper barely lasted a season. Um, and it basically go, it gets put out. So yeah, this gets discarded. Oh no, sorry, put into reruns. This uh, goes into the discard pile. So that was the comedian. Your parents like, but apparently nobody else did because the show didn't even last. Um, also makes me feel bad about cancelling the sort of 30 Rock spoof because I really loved that show and I wish it had gone on maybe like one or two more seasons. I think I would have really enjoyed that. Uh, so then that gets done. I spend my last 4 million to develop it because it's uh, usually 5 million, but because of my, um, my fantastic uh, audience data, I can pay cheaper for that. So that gets developed. And now I have to add a star to it, which is fine. Um, I will add a star to it. And I'm going to add, add to it as well, which is fine, because this one uh, rotates unless I have ads left in green room, which I do. And then I can add something else to it. And of course, I'm going to add another star to it. So this is going to star the career stuntman and the medical main drama mainstay. And thematically, that works very nicely, I, I have to admit. So yeah, this goes on here. So let's just pop these under here. And that is going to mean that this season is going to be scoring me 14 points for that show. So yeah, NCIS Scranton is going to it's going to be very good. Okay, so uh, that's the turn done. So now I revealed this. Um, play. Oh yeah. So now I have to get rid of a drop and budget. And actually, let me think about this. I need six million at the end of the game. Three, so I can keep. Maybe even more than that, um, because... Oh, and that's my third uh, blue card. That's my third blue card. So actually, this... Uh, yeah, that one that was fine. I'm going to discard that. But actually, because I've got three blues, um, my reward is to do one of these. First of all, I get five viewers. That's 53 now, or 153. And the other thing I get is I can do one of these actions, which is to draw three stars and keep one, or draw three adverts and take money from the other two now. And you know what I'm going to do. Take the adverts, because I absolutely need that... Um, to gain money so I can go into the last round of the game um, with hopefully some money. So I'm going to keep only the bonus, the bonus of two of these. Well, this is pretty good. So I keep one of these, um, which will be this one, and I keep the landing bonus of the other three. So that's going to give me five million dollars, which is great. So let's get rid of those and take my five million. Now, if I drop out now, I'll get nine million, and that means I can keep two of these by spending um, six of those nine million using this card and then at the end of the game I can spend that last three million to basically um, to, to activate the rerun scoring again so that should get me loads of points so I'm going to do that uh, yeah so I'm going to drop out now because I don't need anything else my shows are pretty good um, and I can actually spend this to prevent this from um, oh actually which one's going to score me more points I think I think I can spend this during the next round on that show because that will gain me like 19 points, which is very good. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to drop out now. Drop out, spend the, get my 4 million, um, which is this. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This uh, money situation worked out very luckily. It could have gone either way. It would have probably meant I just didn't keep one of the reruns, but it's still good. It's still very good. Okay, so uh, looking at this, uh, is there anything I can play now? No, it's fine. Okay, so now the end of the round occurs. So we'll do this. Uh, end of game, by the way. Uh, we are going to score the shows again. Uh, we're going to score unused stars. And we're going to score end game network cards, which are kind of these ones. So yeah, anyway. So what's going to happen now is we're going to do income and expenses. Uh, oh gosh, this is fine. I think this is still going to work out, thankfully. Yeah, so I get basically uh, expen uh, the income from these shows. Wait, wasn't there a advert on here as well? Yeah, I lost that i was worried then no so basically i add up all my income which is two three four five six seven eight nine and i reduce everything that's in expense so nine minus one eight seven six five four three so i would have still got three million actually so that's not too bad i wasn't in too much of an issue actually no i can't do that okay never mind um i was just thinking i could have kept another rerun but actually both of those cards only allow you to keep one rerun so i wouldn't be able to keep two maximum anyway because i only have two of them okay uh, okay, so uh, here's what's going to happen now. Uh, income and expenses, score lineups and reruns. So let's have a look at this. So 11 plus 1 is 12. Uh, let's do this on this track here. Then we add a 14, so that's 26 points. 
and then we add a 10 plus 2 plus 2 because this is on its preferred time slot so that's 14 points meaning i score a total of 40 for that plus i i score my reruns as well so that's 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so that's actually 51 51 for that so 51 plus 53 is 204 that's good i just need to get I just need to get 265 points now to be able to win the game. And I'm just very nervous about that happening. However, uh, I'm going to play this card. This card is uh, allows me to uh, score each of my reruns this season scores four additional viewers. So I've got three seasons, uh, three reruns here. So I score 12 additional um, points, but that gets discarded. So that's another 12. So that takes me up to 216. Um, the next I'm going to use this to spend 3 million to keep one rerun from dropping into archives. I'm going to keep this 5 million one, so that costs me 3 million. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend my other daytime soaps card to keep another rerun, so I'll keep this one for 3 million. And this one, unfortunately, I don't get to keep. And this one does get put into the archives, but it's fine. It did its job. There we go. Now, uh, play at the end of a season to prevent one of your shows from aging. So now I would do the aging the shows. But the one that's going to... No, actually, I'm not going to do that yet. Now, that one actually is going to score me more from, from, from aging, actually. Uh, so I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to not age this one. I'm not going to age this 14.1. So this one ages. So I spend that card at the end of a season to, to stop that, that show from aging. It only gains me, like, one uh, point, annoyingly. But... Still, it's better than nothing. It's just funny that it's this card here is actually saying, no, no, it's better if you leave it go on because it's going to get better in its second series. Um, okay, so then um, I, I will do the end of thing, which is the setup the next season. However, because it's the last round of the game, that doesn't happen. Um, oh, I forgot to turn that over, by the way. And now we'll do the last end of game thing. So now we score shows again. So all of these shows now are going to add more points. So we get to do this again. So 12 plus 1 is 13. Uh, we're going to score 14 for that, so that's going to be a total of 27. And we're going to add 19 points to that, so 27, 46. 46 points. However, um, this one uh, allows me to spend and discard this card to score uh, reruns during endgame scoring. So actually, this is great because actually I keep those and I discard that by spending 3 million. And that lets me score my reruns again. So let's take uh, three, million, 3 million back. Actually, I'm wondering if I can do this again. So after scoring reruns, uh, discard and spend 3 million at end game to score rerun at game again. So I think, I don't know if I can do that too, twice, but anyway, my reruns are gonna score me another eight. So 46, 54. So 54 on 16 is 260. And, oh man, um, then I could spend this again potentially. Uh, so another 3 million to score reruns again and uh, basically score 8 again. So that would basically push me up past the point. So it depends basically on whether you think that I'm allowed to use this twice in the game, um, which is the card that lets you spend 3 million to score reruns during endgame scoring, um, or whether um, if, if I'm allowed to do that twice because I had two cards. Um, if so, I won the game. If you don't think that's fair, then I lost the game by like uh, by like one point. Uh, no, sorry, by by three points, I think, because I would have had sixty. Yeah, so five points. So that's it. That's the game. Now I'm gonna say I won because I uh, genuinely uh, I, I I missed played at some point in that, but I did enjoy it. I did enjoy that game. Um, if you were watching and you have any like comments and stuff, like feel free to drop some chat and. Uh, and let, let me know what you think of the game because um yeah the game when i first um when i first heard of it i had to get the game or i had to at least play it because i come from like a tv production background and um while this isn't necessarily what i did one of my early jobs was actually um let me just uh, switch over to the camera where you can see me a bit better uh there we go. I think that one's better. Yeah. So hello. Um, so yeah. If you um, haven't, if I, basically one of my early jobs was involving like um, I worked in uh, what's it acquisitions, which is actually getting TV shows. So it's kind of this. So we would like go out and try and get rights to shows to show on the channel that I worked at. Um, and basically part of it obviously then there's a scheduling team as well and they kind of choose where it goes but ultimately when we're thinking of like acquiring shows uh, we need to 
get shows that we think are going to work well and we also need to consider whether they're going to work um, in certain time slots because obviously we want to make our money back by getting lots of viewers so that is kind of my background so when I was coming to um, to, to sort of look at this game I was like okay this could this could be really nice you know depending on you know whether it kind of uh, obviously the gameplay has to be good regardless of theme the gameplay still has to be good so but I think the theme sort of like had me a little bit more interested than I possibly would have been um, without a TV background and then obviously I tried the game and I think when I did a learning game for myself I just wasn't I wasn't sure like I wasn't sure how the game would progress and where the sort of like um, the, the progression of the game um, would come from whether there would be enough in it to keep me interested and whether the drafting thing was as good or whatever but knowing after playing it a couple of times like it did click for me actually after playing the learning game I still played a real game and then it sort of clicked for me and there is fun to be had in this game especially because they've got expansions um, they've got a British television expansion coming out they've got an expansion called the executives and basically then they've got a new version of the game which is coming out called the network's rivals which is a two-player version there is a two-player variant in this game by the way they're the only difference between the two-player variant and the regular game because uh, I didn't actually play this uh, two-player version but the two-player game uh, is basically take three of the spare cubes put them on the spots above the budget track so they, they basically cover the drop and budget track like it does in the the, the game um, and it looks like you still have to burn stuff so I think the kind of the players burn stuff eventually so it kind of has that same thing of like getting rid of cards but the players kind of have the prerogative about which stuff to burn so that's the game um essentially yeah the, what the one player game i liked i think it's quite nice i think the problem with any game where you have to kind of achieve um points at the end um if it, it works better if it's just you're trying to achieve like a single score like this one and as you can see it was very close it might not even have been legit but I think it is. I'm going to say it is. Um, but any game where you have like tiered points for me is not as appealing as a game where you have to achieve a win condition, which is get this number of points or you've lost. Um, and I know certain games are really guilty of, um, hey, you can't, um, you can't play this. Uh, you you can't. Um, sorry, you, you you will win this game if you basically get a certain number of points. But you'll do better if you get this number of points. I'm like, well, I don't really care about that. It's like Sherlock Holmes consulting detective. Uh, when I play that, I play that to win. I try and get the right answers. Um, I don't play it to beat Sherlock. Like, this very tough thing. Although, obviously, that is a bit different because you have the win condition and you have the points there. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, and also, it'd be nice if there was... But, but oh, yeah, so the other thing about a solo game and whether it's good, in my opinion, is whether a game has um, enough interesting mechanics. A game doesn't have to play exactly the same... Um, thematically and mechanically sorry as a multiplayer game of that game to be able to be a good solo game uh for example carcassonne they renounced the solo rules and you can actually check it on uh, one of my youtube on my youtube channel uh, because that one has um like a different rules it does different rules and there's diff there's still a scoring thing and you are trying to you know get a high score or whatever but the, the the simple thing is you have to try and get all of the tiles on the board using the mechanics they've done and i think that was really clever i think that was a really good use. and this one kind of has the same thing you have a little bit of a push your luck element because you know if you run out of star cards and then you know you want to keep taking turns if you draw a card with the yeah for example a star card and it's there's none left then you suffer the bad penalties as you see I didn't have any of those in the end, so there was kind of, I, I played it quite well in that regard, but as you saw, I also didn't have um, many uh, points to to win, and there wasn't much I don't think I could have done to, to boost that, but I like the way that the game plays slightly different, and you have somewhat, like, then you have to make choices, like, the leftmost cards are the most likely to be burnt, so it's like, if there's a card that I really want, do I play that now or do I risk it? And then hopefully it won't get burned and then next turn I can take it. There's those kind of decisions that you can make. So yeah, it's 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 fun. You know, I, I certainly wouldn't say, you know, it's it's one of my favorite games of all time, but you no, know, not many games get that, you know, opportunity. But certainly as a solo game, I think it holds up. And even as a multiplayer game, I think it also holds up as well. Um and Gilhover's awesome. Like Gilhover's such a like a, a very designer with a lot of skills. So, um, his, in fact, his new game is called Weird Stories, and uh, it's basically like a, an RPG, a one-shot RPG system, um, with a lot of sort of player, uh, player choice to when it comes to setting up the game and voting and stuff. It's very nice. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's it basically for me. Um, if you uh, enjoyed watching, obviously consider giving me a follow if you aren't following already. Um, uh, I also currently donating uh, all of the proceeds I get, whether it's donations or... 
um, or, or subscriptions, like you can do it for free if you're an Amazon Prime member. Just go to twitchprime.com. Um, you don't even have to give it to me, but it's just useful for people to know if you like, you know, giving people free money because um, it's free because you're already paying for Amazon Prime, but you can give a free Twitch subscription to somebody. So consider that. It doesn't have to be me, obviously, but you could if you wanted. And uh, or even just like subscribing on YouTube or following me on Twitter and Instagram. Um, it's been very nice, uh, but that's it for me today. So, uh, yeah, thanks for joining. Uh, hopefully you have a lovely day weekend, whatever you got planned. But until the next time, um, take care and have fun gaming.